What do I say? Shut up. <laughs> I know exactly what you are thinking. He needs some milk. Fuck you. <laughs> I know, man. I feel like a dick. I've been working and planning and making moves. You see the mic? You see this professional dude? <laughs> we are booze doing that. We are best. We are best. No, seriously, um, I suck for this one. Uh, I was talking all that good shit about posting more and yeah, work, man. It's okay, man. One video a month. I'm so That's yeah. Progress. I Hey, it is progress. Hard I got technology. I got the homie Ray with me. Yeah, already know. Supporting me. I had to get him here. So he'd force me to film because I was ready to sleep yeah. like two oh, seconds yes. ago. This is why I look like shit right now. I was on that sofa, passed the fuck out. Oh my god. I knew. Uh, I knew I had to finish the food real quick. <laughs> Wake the hell up. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, it's literally just work. I work like 70% of the time and the other 30% is just me beating off existential crises. Sai Sai. Cri crisis? Cri Sai? Cri you know that feeling when you wake up just terrified? <laughs> just me? <laughs> I'm, I'm just being dramatic. Mostly. <laughs> I was just tired from work. If you think retail is bad, try working in hospitality. I know you understand what it's like dealing with an annoying customer. Imagine that customer's drunk oh, with a god complex mine. and 50 oh, friends. One of which thinks he can make a fucking mojito mine. better than you do. I had a guy waiting outside the bar before I opened up the other day. And once I opened, he had the audacity to make jokes about people that can't live without beer. <laughs> You're so meta, Jerry. One for life. <laughs> we both know you have a problem. I need... But I must admit, working at a bar has its ups and downs. I'm not gonna lie, working in retail was horrible, stressful, mind-numbing. Working at a bar, you get something new every day. You get some weird characters walking through that door or driving through that door on their mobility scooter and asking for the same drink day in day out sometimes i just like fucking with people we have this one guy that comes in every day and asks for one type of beer every day and sometimes i just just fuck with him i pretend like i don't know him and he looks at me like i'm fucking retarded every time like he doesn't understand it's a joke hey so what can i get you today buddy you know what the fuck i'm here for give me my beer and fuck off <laughs> what he is, he's a lovely guy. He's a lovely guy. We've had to bar him twice. Hashtag nice guy. <laughs> Such a dick. Heart emoji. <laughs> this dude has genuinely pissed his pants in the bar. Oh, well, I, was, I, sh I probably shouldn't be saying this shit. You know what? I'd, I'd sympathize more if like he was nice to me. But he's not. <laughs> he's not nice to me at all. Douchebag. I'm, I'm like talking to the camera and I'm talking to like you and I'm talking to my friend. Chat. It's gonna look so weird. We're like, <laughs> there's someone here, I swear. You better say stuff so, because people think I'm crazy. You are crazy. I know. I'm, I'm your hallucination. <laughs> I hate when you do that sometimes because like my brain just goes, fuck, what if he is? When someone's trying to dare you to do something, like you want to, like you're real. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, Fucking do it, mate. You're not real. It's like, I'm not real. Bye. <laughs> you fucking hilarious. What was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah, the lady. I had this one lady come in. She was clearly like a pro Brexit. She walked in, she goes, What kind of beers you got? And I was like, Oh, we've got Amstel, we've got Sagres, we've got Bira Moretti. She was like, Oh, have you got no British beers? And I was like, oh my god. She's like, why doesn't anyone have British beers anymore? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> have you got Foster's? Foster's tastes like rat piss. Why? <laughs> why would someone want that coming out of a tap? Here's your big old keg of Foster's. You get a can of Foster's if you kind of want to get drunk and you're 16. Fucking Foster's. I mean, I guess some people are into piss. Yeah, yeah. I said, Mr. We can work this out. She said, honey. I smell a queen. You have a lot of interesting characters. Dude, I, I can't even think, like, I can't pinpoint specific. I can't remember. There's so many that I'm just finding it hard to, like, 
pinpoint all of them. You, you get, you got like the regular ones, you got the ones that try and wind you up, you got the ones that come in just like happy as Larry to just be alive and just like cheer up your day. You got the ones that smell like piss. <laughs> Specific, but <laughs> you got the ones that are already drunk and you have to refuse service and then they're angry at you Like you're the one that made them drunk. No, you went out and drank and can't hold your liquor and can't pretend that you can hold your liquor I'm fucked up my face standing in front of a bouncer at a club and I know if he sees I'm drunk He's not gonna let me in. I start talking like a fucking queen. Hello good sir. Here is my ID I'm like pretending I'm sober as shit. These guys stumble through the door They don't gonna have another drink with like one one eye half open. I'm gonna know you're fucked. Give me a better performance. You get one eye open. <laughs> it's just like both eyes closed and you <laughs> open up a third eye. It's <laughs> <laughs> some weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that shit? That would be oh. fucking terrifying. Just holding like a five pounder, like, can I get a beer, please? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that! I would fully shit myself. Oh, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even say shit, you just scream. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> That's terrifying. He's either an alien or his parents are related. Fucking hell. Oh. <laughs> How did you do that? I don't know. God, I can't get that image out of my head. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to fucking work. Whenever a drunk person comes in, I'm just gonna be looking at their forehead, ready for some <laughs> shit to happen. You're welcome for my imagination. What would you do if you saw someone with a third eye? Like, what's the protocol? Do you look at it? Do you look them in their third eye? That'd be fucking terrifying. What if they were just like walking down the street and someone walked up to you and asked for directions? Like, hey, but they have a fucking third eye on their head. Do you look at the third eye? Do you pretend it's not there? Do you just <laughs> tell them where the direction is? You Do you that? point at it? <laughs> Enough talk about alcoholism. I want to talk about a project that Ray and I have been working on. Yeah, that's right, Ray. <laughs> If I say it on YouTube, maybe it'll like motivate us to drag this thing out of development hell. Are you right, you're right. <laughs> now that you put it out there. Now that I've put it out there. Yeah, this pressure of having it. And we have to finish. Oh, well, we're gonna look like idiots, Ray. <laughs> well, one of our projects is a short animation about an aspect of our childhood. It's particularly like childhood games, it's about childhood games that we used to play in this nature reserve behind our, our houses. Like, you know, it, tag, manhunt, uh, what else did we used to play? Hide and seek? Not like, the part where I remember playing, like, was a game called Bulldog, but that was like down the street. Bulldog, yeah, oh yeah, Bulldog. Yeah. Oh, kind of what's that one? Curbsy as well. Curbs. On the curbs. Anyway, yeah. Oh my God, I can't fucking focus. Ray and I are working on new projects. Uh, we've got an animation in the works. I'll show you a snippet of the animatic. And animatics like a rough animation. <laughs> As kids, Ray and I had some awesome summers. 30% of the holiday was spent sat in front of Ray's computer watching girly animes. But that being said, 70% was spent outside running around like the zombies from 28 Days Later. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> the podcasts on the way. As you can see, new mic. Come back. <laughs> Should I leave you alone with your mic? Yeah, it's a new podcast on the way. Um, yeah, we work it. I am working. I am tired. Goodbye. Ah, I have recorded other versions of an episode of Eli and Chats. And I just like got bored halfway. Not bored halfway. I just didn't like them, but I'll, I'll show you some clips at the end of the other ones. So, uh, I'll see you next time. That's right. <laughs> this is actually banging, look at that.
<laughs> so, 